Let it rain. Look at this. This is like hellfire right here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> just let it rain, fire. I mean, these guys just got shit tons of fire. I mean, look at it. Banditos, do you ever get annoyed by the status effects in the Division 2? I do. There are so many. And this build is 100% hazard protected with balance, damage, and survivability. Created specifically to counter hunters, it's also extremely effective against the factions like the outcasts. Let's jump in. So it's really cool to have a build that's specifically designed for hunters, whether you're taking them out in the open world New York or going into the Summit Floor 100, or if you're gonna go into Countdown. And so the idea here is to be able to inflict damage, be somewhat tanky and not lose your skills to their disruption capabilities. So that's what this one does. And if you look here, we are 100% hazard protection. That is the objective of the build, not 95%, not 90%, but 100% hazard protection protected and that's going to keep you immune to bleed blind burn disorient disrupt ensnare poison shock pulse as well as explosive damage are their own things so you will not be immune to those types of effects so there's only a few ways to actually be 100 hazard protected in this game and this is one of them and it's going to require two pieces of cheska for that 10 percent hazard protection from the brand attribute we're also using the crit chance so we got weapon damage crit chance has pro and more crit chance our second piece of cheska is on the chest it looks pretty much the same so crit damage has pro and i'm going with intimidate on the chest that's giving us up to 35 percent weapon damage to target it's within 10 meters as long as we have bonus armor and so the backpack is giving us that bonus armor from adrenaline rush which is really 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 helpful in countdown especially when you're swarmed from enemies this scales up with that threat so it's really cool so this is using a get a cover that first piece giving us five percent total armor and we got armor crit damage more hazard protection and then crit chance and you're gonna need to run three pieces of Uzina to get that 10 percent hazard protection that's important for this formula and so here's the second piece which armor has pro crit damage and that's giving us 10 percent armor on kill because it's our second piece and then here's the third piece finally for that 10 percent hazard protection we got armor has pro and crit damage all the pieces look basically the same and then the gloves are y'all gear gloves for 10 percent more hazard protection armor crit damage or chance and more hazard protection and so this is a dark zone exclusive brand set so if you don't have this sometimes it is for sale at the clan vendor it is sort of rare but it happens so if you don't have this then what you're going to need to do is probably use an improvised glove with hazard protection and probably put a disrupt resistance mod on here so that you don't lose your skills when you're fighting the hunters because you're constantly pulsing and trying to break your skills we have max crit chance 101 percent crit damage and then um a lot of our power is coming from intimidate and then we're running the shotgun one of the strongest shotguns in the game and this shotgun is giving us damage to armor as well as septic shock which is poison disorient shock and lastly the target takes an additional 20 percent damage that's pretty important and so for the skills i decided to go with the striker shield that's because it gives us some really good mods as well as additional damage for targets standing in front of us and so we really want this shield to stay up the whole time and so it's given us 12 percent damage per enemy standing in front of us and this is a tier four shield because of all the armor we're running and then i'm going for the riot foam so the riot foam is serving two purposes one stop them from healing because they like to run and heal when they take a certain amount of damage and that's really annoying it's like fighting two hunters but once they heal and so try to stop them from doing that also try to stop them from hitting you with the hatchet so when they come and melee you that's gonna break your shield it doesn't matter how strong your shield is that melee fucking hurts and so it's gonna bust your shield so try to prevent that with the riot foam so use your riot foam strategically now, otherwise the shock on the, and the disorient on the shock and also assists with that so the shock will keep them from rushing you too much and the disorient as well so that's why this shotgun is actually really good on this build against hunters of course and i think we all know that by now so firewall is what gets us access to that shield so keep that in mind so one of the questions that's probably going to come up is why i didn't go with the backfire so the backfire is a good weapon to go with hazard protection builds because it applies bleed to you and gives you all the crit damage you need on a build which is 200 percent and so this is a pretty good weapon with these types of builds but i just didn't really feel it with this one and that's because the backfire lacks some upfront damage and you really need to compensate for that the scorpio just felt better try the backfire if you want to but like me you'll probably end up liking the scorpio and plus against the hunters the scorpio gosh there's probably nothing better against hunters yeah so this build isn't that difficult to build one of 
one of the most difficult pieces to find will be those y'all gloves so if you don't have those then just use the improvised like i mentioned earlier but otherwise it's really nice to be hazard protected i mean the reality is and i say this during my live streams like if i could i would put hazard protection on every build in this game obviously you can't because you're gonna have to make choices and it's usually hazard protection that goes when it comes to being protected from things and that's because there's a lot of hazards out there a lot of different hazards right and so what's fun about the 100 hazard protection builds is that you're you can walk through those right foam guys you can walk through puddles of fire you can uh, face tank flamethrowers you can take chunga stingers so it's really nice to be able to avoid some of those annoyances is what i like to call them because that's what hazards are they're really annoying and this game is filled with them so you know but how cool is that i mean these are all these hazards i would normally avoid Did she say Revenge of the Fallen? I mean, it's pretty cool to be able to catch yourself on fire, like right here, like in case we get rushed and shit. That explosion right there. Yeah, I don't know. Now we broke our shield, but they're all on fire, right? And we can stand in that shit. You catch that fire too. And you can start using the hazards for your protection. That was amazing, you know? That's amazing stuff. It really is. I, I'm, I'm always impressed to be able to eliminate those things that would normally annoy the fuck out of you. And then if you do it right, you can actually turn them in, on, in your favor, right? And so how many times have you hit that weak point on that guy and you like regretted it? I'm the boogeyman for sure. This is definitely a boogeyman build. Let it rain. Look at this. this is like hellfire right here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I mean, this is let it rain fire. I mean, these guys just got shit tons of fire. I mean, look at it. And you can do that, right? Just go stand in front of the spawn doors, make them blow up on themselves. I mean, you still can take explosion damage. So you got to be careful, but they all died from their own fire. That's basically what just happened. I didn't kill anybody. Oh, I mean, the rusher I killed, but... And then you got landmines too, because like if they still got the weak point, you should you can still break it. I blew myself up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I mean, you could use the fire as a defense. You know what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No prisoners. Hey. Especially if it's trying to fucking melee your punk ass. Oh, here's this guy. He's got special ammo. So you still take weapon damage, but... Hey, if you love this shotgun build, then you're going to want to try out this Baba Yaga build I've made for John Wick. Follow me.